Hey guys, Kevin JG01 here. Today I'm going to do a video on my Lego Lone Ranger mock. I just came back from the Brick Fair a couple weeks ago, and I did a video on how to motorize the Lego Constitution. So, um, check out that video. Very simple. So, um, yeah, uh, check it out. So, I want to do a review on this uh, scene I made. It's from the Lone Ranger movie, uh, the 2013, and I call it at the river start, because it's got the river, and it had the train and the cave, this is just a, um, cut out of the silver mine, like, of course, in the real mine, uh, the sides will be closed, but I made it open so they look pretty cool, like there's caves or something going, going down and all that, I'm put some X's right there. One right there, and it looks kind of cool. Put all that TNT right there because Butch Cavendish blew up the mountain to try and kill Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Um, I have the Indian because of the Calvary Battle of the Indians. Or the, uh, the, or, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, uh, I got a little campfire for the Calvary, for the little weapon pile, the Admiral, um, a guard in the tree. Uh, just another guard. He's got a little bottle right there. And I actually really like this because it's a little legend. It's got a tree on it. So I think that's pretty cool. And I really like looking at this right here. Um, I got that little gun right there. Uh, followed by that little kind of... I guess uh, it's kind of like a little barricade. You know. Uh, then I got the cavalry army right here. With the Captain J. Fuller in the front. Got the two lieutenants and the sergeant, and uh, the nine soldiers, and then I, I have the water tower right here, just goes like that. Um, I got the big rock over there, and now I'm actually going to power up the train. And I'm gonna get over here because it looks pretty cool. So that's uh, pretty much it for this. Um, I will be uh, buying the Emerald Knight, and I will be doing a video on, on that. The unboxing and all that, and how to motorize that. And I've heard that all, all you need to motorize the Emerald Knight is the motor and the battery box, and that's all you need for that. Um, uh, I haven't heard... Um, heard about using the old method with the IR receiver, the battery box, the train motor, and the remote, but uh, uh, I, I'm probably just going to buy the receiver and try the old and do the old way. Of course, that's what I did with this one and it works um, great. So I, I'm not going to do the cheap way out. So I guess that's pretty much it for this. Um, pretty nice and I'm going to take all of my all, all these little log pieces and I'm gonna uh, make a make a big uh, train station and I'm gonna do a video on that and I'm, I'm just gonna build a lot of stuff probably like a couple different things and then I'm gonna do videos of them post them and then I'm going to let you guys see which one's the best and the top two I'm going to try and combine uh, just don't choose this cave in the train station, because that's, that's, that's going to be hard. But, uh, otherwise of that, I think that's pretty much it for this. So, I guess, um, 
Happy building.